board members and risk executives uh, have a significant role to play in informing and cascading within the organization risk elements. So they are the first ones that they need to understand risks, study risks, and be in position to assess them and analyze them. So it's important that they commit time, effort, and they put a lot of uh, input into their own training to understand uh, and evolve with evolving risks. Risks is not an environment that is stable, uh, it's an environment that is changing, and from the position of a risk executive or a board member, uh, it's important to keep up to date. It's important to make sure that uh, they are in position to offer to the organization, to protect the value of the organization, and to, to help the organization create new value by managing the environment, uh, the risks within its environment. And when we're talking about risk management at that level, it's not just about uh, understanding and conceptually uh, managing high-level risks, but also being in position to, risk, to build appropriate frameworks, uh, to have the right policies, limits, procedures, and uh, understand what's most relevant for the near future so that they can implement the best risk policies that are out there. Uh, it's not an easy job for anyone, and it's a job that requires continuous commitment, uh, focus on uh, education, and focus on uh, skills, expertise, and ability to follow new trends. Well, risk management is a, is a quickly evolving science. It, uh, it basically entails the understanding of risks. Um, it includes the methods and processes for identifying, quantifying, and managing risks. And uh, living in a world of uh, quick technological advancements, one needs to stay abreast of developments of new tools and methods of understanding and uh, managing risks. And that is why it's important uh, both for students but also for board members to continuously educate themselves to keep up to date with the recent developments. The fundamental consideration is that risk should not be considered as an afterthought. You should be looking at the world through risk lens. So in other words, all your decisions are informed by what that means in relation to risk. And when we talk about risk, we shouldn't just think about threats, we should also think about opportunities. So risk should be something that is both integrated and embedded into all the policies, systems and processes of an organisation. Now, the importance of the governance of risk means that it's done in a systematic way. It's not done as an afterthought, it's not done by chance, but there's actually policy systems and processes that ensure this gets done at every level of the organisation. Education on risk and what it means holistically is very important. And one of the reasons is that risk is a word used in everyday parlance to mean something. And usually we associate that with threat or danger. Now we need to be re-educated when we are thinking about risk through an organisational lens to understand risk as a neutral phenomenon, which could mean a positive or it could mean a negative, depending on where you are in relation to the risk. So we need to re-educate ourselves in terms of what we understand by risk and then see it as something that could be a benefit to the organisation or not, and then take proactive measures in order to exploit any upside or avoid any downside. So it should be something that is regular in terms of conversation between board members. We shouldn't just be driven by data and spreadsheets. We need to also use our gut as well as our head because many of the most significant risks, there isn't hard data available. So if you think about many of the financial crises that happened in the past, it wasn't for the lack of data. There were other things at play that put the organisation at risk. So we need to think outside of just what's data-driven, think about qualitative things that could affect an organisation, both positively and negatively, 
and then act accordingly. So education is key, making sure that we all have a common understanding of what we mean by risk, using common vocabulary and terminology. So when we are talking to each other about risk, we understand each other and we're not talking at cross purposes. And then systematizing the whole risk governance, management, policy system and process in order for it to become embedded and integrated and then we do it without thinking and that's when it becomes truly cultural. So we need to be nurturing a risk aware culture which is something that you can do only through intentionality, it doesn't happen by chance.